Mary, the one who notices and ponders. In Luke 2.19, we are told that after the birth of Jesus, shepherds arrived and told Mary about all that they had experienced. The angels announcing the birth of the Messiah and the angelic host proclaiming his birth. Mary's response isn't one of shock or elation, rather one of reflection. I wonder how often Mary went back and thought about what she had been told. Maybe in the, during the sleepless nights where baby Jesus was refusing to sleep as she walked Jesus to bed, she wondered what it meant to give birth to the Messiah, Son of God. Maybe as Jesus entered his mischievous toddler years, knocking everything down and causing chaos, she thought back to the night of his birth. Perhaps as Jesus entered his teenage years, a child very interested in the law and prophets, yet who I can imagine might still have an edge of an attitude to him. Maybe during that time, Mary wondered about the one she birthed. And then I'm sure that as Jesus settled into his life as a carpenter, perhaps Mary was tempted to think that the unique circumstances of Jesus' birth were but a dream. Maybe Jesus would have an average life, going to the temple a few times a year, following God as best as he could, earning money as a carpenter, and maybe having a family. As Jesus' ministry and purpose became fully revealed, did she take comfort in the stories of his birth, or was she frightened for his future? Did the miracles he performed make sense in light of what she knew, or did they add to her confusion and concern, or both? It's tempting to view Mary as a one-dimensional figure. After all, the information we have on her is very limited. It is easy to want to turn her into an untouchable figure that we can never hope to emulate and who very rarely experience doubt and fear. But for me, it is more comforting to embrace her full humanity, to imagine that at different stages of her life, as she watched Jesus grow, she experienced the full gamut of emotion. I take comfort at the idea that when the miraculous happened, she stored those occurrences in her heart and returned to them during moments of doubt and even joy. She probably alternatively questioned and embraced what she had seen, feeling both comforted and disturbed. Let's follow Mary in this way. Let's be present enough in the moment to notice what is occurring, but also reflective enough to know when it is beneficial to hold on to what we have witnessed and ponder them.